This is uh, interesting. Students are returning to college campuses this week, some of them, amid rising COVID cases. You know that. Well, Philadelphia officials announced a vaccine requirement for all students and faculty by October 15th, unless there is a medical or religious exemption. Boy, it is a big time different story for these 14 universities in Pennsylvania. It's part of the Pennsylvania state system of higher education where legislation would need to be passed in order to require vaccines. That includes Cheney and Westchester University and Millersville University, and speaking of Millersville, uh, we're joined by university president, Dr. Daniel Wuba. Uh, doctor, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much for inviting me this morning. Yes, uh, you, you got a dilemma on your hands here, as I know that you're also a microbiologist. So my guess is you'd like to see everybody on campus vaccinated. Definitely. I think that would be the best way for us to prevent the spread of the pathogen in our community. So you can't mandate vaccines you don't have the authority to do it or let's put up the map again none of these 14 schools have the authority to say i'd like to have everybody on campus uh vaccinated or demand it yes um, as a public institution uh, that's all 14 universities do not have the mandate from the state to require vaccination by all our faculty staff or students uh, private institutions can do that, but we can't do that based on current statutes. So there would have to be legislation. Yes, definitely. Um, um, with the establishment of the state system, uh, one of the areas um, at which you know, we were not given uh, full authority is you know, in public health on our campuses. And this uh, pandemic is a public health issue. So the only way uh, we as presidents or on campuses and uh, we can uh, mandate vaccination is a change in that particular uh, aspect of the uh, statutes that were used in establishing the system. So what is the status in Harrisburg then? Is there legislation pending? Is it something the governor could just step in and mandate? Sounds like not. Um, no, actually, um, that can only be done if the governor is going to do it. It will have to be done under the emergency powers. But uh, currently, we are working with our chancellor, uh, Chancellor Dan Greenstein uh, of the PASHI system, to try to find ways for us to uh, decrease uh, the spread of the virus. In this case, it's mainly been by creating pop-up uh, vaccine centers on our campuses yeah. and also testing. Okay, so we, we asked the governor about this, you know, can you do anything? And he said, well, the administration strongly encourages anyone who is eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine, do it as soon as possible, including higher education students, faculty and staff. And he would be supportive of you know, implementing any legally sound and appropriate policies that help to increase vaccination rates. Are you, is there a chance you can get this change in the next couple of weeks? Are you optimistic at all? Well, I, I am not sure. As you know, the legislative process is one that doesn't occur overnight. It <laughs> takes some time. True. But we are, we are trying as much as possible. We are in constant communication with the chancellor's office. That's all 14 campuses. And um, it depends at the moment, I think, on the rate, you know, increase of uh, the uh, pandemic, that's the virus. It may be with an increase, which we are not uh, looking, we are not hoping would happen. You know, there may be a change in mind uh, to give us the mandate yeah. to require vaccines. Well, one of our legislators, Kristen uh, Phillips Hill, I think she represents York, Pennsylvania. She says the reason why she doesn't want to mandate anything is because it the vaccine is only for emergency use authorization so far, right? Um, and she says it's government overreach, and she wants to hold this up until the FDA makes a stronger. Uh, reason for the vaccine. What do you say about that? I've had a, no, a number of people um, use that uh, explanation for not mandating uh, the vaccines uh, in public institutions like Millersville. But I, as we all know, uh, the CDC currently is seriously considering giving the final approval. Yeah. And we understand hopefully next month that will okay. It seems so, like it will be, yeah, over the next couple of months, it seems like we'll yes. have that from the CDC yes. and, the, and the FDA and everything else. It seems like you're just kind of stuck right now. Do you feel that way? 
in a way uh, we are and uh, what we are doing uh, at, at least at Millersville is we are making every effort to encourage the vaccination but for those who are not uh, vaccinated either for uh, religious that's you know if it's for religious or medical reasons then we know that you know they can't get vaccinated and it's not by choice but we are testing what we're going to do is for those people who are not vaccinated we will provide them as many tests as often can you as demand possible. that they take the test well uh, we have a way of uh, doing that on our campus at the moment our students check in this week on thursday they either have to um, show Prove us their vaccine certificates yeah or will require a, a negative test within the uh, past 72 hours okay. before we will check them in. Uh, doctor, good luck to you. Thank you very much. You got it. And the 13 other schools.